Good morning. It is currently 5.55 in the morning right now and I'm walking to the train station to catch my 6.16 train to Basel Airport. I am going to Lisbon, Portugal. And then after that I'll be in Seville, Spain. So that should be a really fun trip. Lisbon has lots of beaches and stuff and that's it'll be the first beach I'll be near since I left. So I'm really excited and it's my, it's our, like I haven't been to these countries yet so it should be really cool. I love when it's like springtime, summertime because the clothes that you bring are so thin. Like I can fit so much clothes in my bag right now and I still have a lot of space so you know I can bring home souvenirs. And I love me some souvenirs. So if you didn't know, I collect shot glasses. So everywhere that I've been, besides Budapest, because I totally forgot to get one in Budapest, but I've gotten a shot glass and I keep collecting them and it's just basically everywhere I go, I just, I just buy one. And even though I go someplace more than once, if I go with different people, I'll get another one because each experience is always different when you're with different people. And for those of you that noticed, yes, I have worn this shirt before. I just like it, okay? You don't just wear clothes once and then throw it away. Gotta use more than once. Plus, I really like the shirt and I got it as a gift. My eye bags are so huge. So, story is, I originally was supposed to leave tomorrow, which is Monday for me over here, and the airline that I booked with sent me an email and was like, oh, sorry, we changed your flight to the next day with an eight hour layover. So I was like, are you serious? I asked for a refund, they still haven't given me a refund, and so I was like, okay, well now I need to book a new flight because I'm obviously not going to make it on that next flight after because I, I already booked other stuff following this flight. So I booked another one that cost $100 more, and I'm going a day earlier, so yeah, and then I already booked my train ticket to the airport for the other plane, and it's just a whole big mess. So basically, I lost a lot of money, <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm gonna be in Lisbon for an additional day. I got home yesterday, I like I ran out of socks. I had to do all of my laundry, and then I had to repack again, and it was just a long, long, long day. Just touched down in Lisbon and I'm at the airport right now, just use the bathroom and I'm going to head into the city now because the airport is kind of outside of the city center, so yeah, heading into the city. Wowee! It is really hot outside right now. Um, at least there's wind. I'm at the airport, I'm about to take the bus to the city and I got a Lisbon card. Discounts to museums and free transportation for 72 hours and a bunch of discounts so that's pretty cool so I guess whenever you're in Portugal and you go to Lisbon you get yourself a Lisboa card okay so the bus thing didn't work out I had to take the metro and I just got done with the metro and now I'm about to walk to the hostel so I'll you know video some there hostel room. I'm in a room with six people and um, this is my bed right here, number one. And then I have like a little storage thing right here. And yeah, it's really cute actually. This is really nice. Yeah, the sheets are nice and clean and yeah, everything is very modern. Hey people, this is June. He's from Korea. I met him in my hostel. Uh, we arrived at the same time so yeah, we're just going around now. We're heading to Geronimo's Monastery. It's a while away, so we're uh, headed onto a bus to Geronimo's Monastery. 
we actually got on the wrong bus at first. <laughs> so, and that tends to happen a lot just because it like it comes at the same time I head towards the station and I always think it's frantically le going to leave me and yeah, but it was the wrong one. <laughs> so, now we're going on the right one to the right place. <laughs> so, June is currently studying in Dublin right now and he just came from Porto, which is also in Portugal, and now he's in Lisbon. today so we decided to get some ice cream this is his first time yeah. having Ben and Jerry's this is his first time having Ben and Jerry's that, that's ridiculous I can't believe they don't have that in Korea or like maybe he just hasn't seen it in Korea but yeah how do you like it very delicious yeah <laughs> and it totally didn't stop at the bus stop like they just keep going and they don't stop you, I don't understand I don't understand why the bus that we were on before this didn't even show the stop names and it drove really fast and it I don't I came on the right weekend because they're having this cool little like parade slash march show thing in the square right now where my hostel is. It's so cool. I just watched a like a Chinese dragon dance right now. And then I guess some more people are coming.
Got a bacon and cheddar hot dog. Yum. What's better than watching a street parade than with street food? I also got a beer. <laughs> Good morning guys! Day two in Lisbon and I am heading in near Rocio Square and like the area all over there. So I'll just be staying there all day today and then tomorrow I'm going to be going to, I think, Sintra is what it's called? Yeah, I'm going to Sintra tomorrow. It's another city in Portugal. Um, oh, I'm still on the fence about doing it, but who knows. <laughs> Yesterday night there is this huge festival like a bunch of marching groups and they did their dances and it was very very loud lots of people it was amazing like everybody was very supportive of all the marching groups all the dancers were all cultural and it it was just a great experience to see because it was just so different it lasted pretty late too till I stayed out till maybe 11 p.m. and it was still going on even after. I don't think it was close to being done. So yeah, it was a really cool experience. They even had like Chinese um, dragon lion dancers. They did karate and everything. And I was like, did they do this for me? Cause I mean, I appreciate it.